Hey everyone, this is Ryan Corcoran with Broadcast Buddy TV, the all-around go-to channel for all things broadcast television. And on this channel, it is our goal to equip you with the tips, tricks, and know-hows to help make you a better broadcaster. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. With that being said, we are on part four of the mini-series that we started several weeks ago on uh, Let's Build a Video Production Trailer. So in the previous video, we uh, got some of the initial framing done for the uh, fly pack for when it comes into the, uh, uh, the trailer there for the divider. So without further ado, we'll go check out the update video for uh, today. And uh, also if you missed part three, make sure you check it out here. We are on update number three of the video production trailer to house the fly pack. And we have made substantial progress on terms of framing of the desk and the audio booth and the overall wall that's going to divide the front production area from the back engineering and video shading. So let's take a closer look. All right, we are coming in through the back bed of the trailer and you can see our fantastic frame that we've built up here. And again, this is going to divide the front production area from the back engineering and video operator. And as you saw in the previous update, when we initially put this first uh, piece of the frame in, we were able to get the fly pack in and uh, wheel it right up and butt it right up against this uh, little area here. Now we did end up notching in uh, this little area here where the wheels go, just so it would be more fluid and flush against the uh, side here. And uh, with the fly pack in, we were able to really build up the framing here to, uh, to be square to the box as opposed to the trailer because it's uh, a little challenging when you're in a trailer because, well, really nothing's square. Um, so we boxed out the wheel wells here and you'll see that uh, we are going to try to make these into shelves where you can put some stuff, maybe put a little uh, LED lighting in here and uh, also some uh, outlets, some receptacles right here, you know, for charging your phone or your laptop. But this will all be a desktop space. So we'll put a countertop on here is the idea. And this is going to be level with the fly pack countertop as well. So it'll all be one height there. And then uh, as per the original design, above, I'm gonna put some monitors. Now I haven't quite decided if I wanna do two or three yet. Um, I'm gonna have to look at some options, maybe some bezel -less stuff uh, to try and maximize my space there because we're only gonna have between the drop ceiling and the top of the fly pack, maybe about 20 inches in height. So we're gonna have to play around with that. I'm continuing the framing. We got the uh, back desk here, which will house the uh, replay operator and the graphics operator. So uh, 20 inch, no, I'm sorry, 22 inch countertop space, um, 32 inch height in counter. And that's pretty standard. And now the creme de creme is the audio booth. So essentially, as we had mentioned, what will happen is once you step in, we're gonna have a door here and we will step in. And again, following that uh, countertop, we'll have our 22 inch countertop here, uh, 32 inch high and some plexiglass here that we will be able to maintain visual contact with the, uh, the monitors up top for the multi viewers, as well as visual contact to the director or technical director. Um, but overall, the idea is we're gonna soundproof this with carpet, of course, and uh, the audio guy will have quite a nice little workspace. We frame this little area out here, which we might put a little, uh, uh, I guess, bifold door? Yeah, a little bifold door and make maybe like a little cable closet out of here. You know, they can hang some patch cords or uh, uh, little XLRs or headsets or some sort of storage, maybe shelves or something. but. We wanted to box that out to kind of square this room up a little bit. Uh, but beyond that, uh, over here, in order to hide the power, what we decided we're gonna do is probably just put an additional uh, leg here to come down, another uh, stud, and then we'll put a little plywood here just to cover this up, and you'll never see it. But uh, it still remains uh, good to have that access port to come in here and. 
I can use this to uh, bring any cables in that I might have to from the exterior on this side of the trailer. And tuck that away and we'll be good to go. So there you have it. That's, uh, that's all the progress we've made so far. And uh, I will be sure to keep you guys updated. Uh, next thing we're probably gonna do is uh, probably start putting down some uh, another layer of plywood here, very thin layer, just to help stabilize this. I think I mentioned that in the last update. And then uh, we need to do the duct work for the uh, AC units. We'll end up taking this off and it'll look more like this guy. And we're gonna do our own custom duct work and kind of zone this out uh, to keep everybody nice and chilly in the uh, hot months to come and everything. And yeah, it's gonna be good. So one other minor thing I wanted to point out, and this is really dumb, but we, uh, we are able to get the chairs. So we got the chairs in and we got them built. So this is the uh, furniture that's gonna be going on the inside. The, uh, the three here, as you can see, are higher than the other ones, and that's just because of the height of the fly pack countertop. So if we have that here, we wanna be able to get that elevated uh, raise there in order to be comfortable working at that. And even with the elevated floor, it's still a little short, so this gives us a lot of flexibility there, versus the other standard height chairs will be good for uh, character generator replay and audio. And then uh, we'll probably just use a couple folding chairs in the back, to be honest, for uh, engineering because, you know, we always get the short end of the stick. And there you have it. That's update number three of the video production trailer for the Fly Pack. Make sure to subscribe so you can keep up to date with our progress. And we'll catch you next time right here on Broadcast Buddy TV. I also wanted to do a quick side note now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, this video is not sponsored by or endorsed by ESPN in any way, shape, or form. I just really like this shirt. Um, but in that case, if you enjoyed what you're seeing and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know in the comments below. This has been very successful so far as a little mini series and I've been having a lot of fun putting it together for you guys. So with that being said, we'll catch you right here next time on Broadcast Buddy TV.